PFW young designer Sasa Jimenez says she gets emotionally attached to her designs. I'm sure you're eager to find out why. I think the, it's the person who makes the style his own. So it's not so much the design in the clothes, but how one wears it. For 22-year-old Sasa Jimenez, fashion designing wasn't something that she really dreamt of doing. It was only right after she got into fashion school that she took fashion designing seriously. But we're putting crystals and beads to make it look a little more fancy. This is my first fashion week, my first fashion show. Surprisingly easy. Not easy, no, I didn't uh, have a hard time making the collection. In terms of obstacles, there weren't any, there wasn't anything in my way, which probably it really pushed me to work harder and really, you know, give it everything so that I can make a good show. It's all kind of green. Sasa admits that she needed all the help she could get being a newbie in the industry. Well, I needed a lot of help, but luckily, my family is very involved in media and advertising so you know I didn't hesitate to ask them for help because I, I really didn't know anything. It was a four-month process for a 15-minute show but it's always like that. Uh, well I can say it was worth it. Sasa confidently talks about her collection as if she were a seasoned designer and her work affirms it. Mostly the collection's about balance, so I tried to balance under-designed pieces with more elaborate ones. Because in every woman, there's a side of you that wants to be, you know, muted and simple, but then sometimes you just want to go out and, you know, experiment with what you wear. Call it step out fashion where every piece in your wardrobe is for going out, for partying, for getting photographed. So it's a very big thing now, getting photographed, going out, being seen. So I'm trying to create a look that will cater to that kind of lifestyle. Armed with a 45-piece collection, Sasa put her all into the collection. There were 45 pieces in the collection and there were probably six key pieces, one of which was the first one that came out. It was a black wool short dress with pink piping. So I tried to play that up. Um, so it was resonating in the collection, piping in one color only, so that you know it ties it all together. Most of the pieces were very structured, very architectural, but there were some that were flowy and soft only because we're trying to create a balance. So we're not, I, I didn't want it to look heavy and too you know, sharp.
but mostly I tried to put the most important ones in the first and the last. And then the last dress was the one that Chara wore. It was um, like an exaggerated turtleneck top with a layered skirt. A really long gown. So we used probably 60 yards of fabric for that skirt. Yeah. So that was um, very labor intensive. And it was the first one that I made actually. Sasa's Spring Summer Collection 2009 is all about layers. Every piece carefully crafted to suit every fashionista's taste. Layers, earring, ruffles, but everything one on top of the other. So that was something that I um, tried to incorporate in all the pieces. For viewers, it may look easy to put up an ensemble like the one Sasa presented, but every designer knows that there's a lot of work behind every piece of clothing. The woman who wears my clothes is someone who's not afraid to experiment with her wardrobe, someone who has an active lifestyle, very independent, and just someone who likes to have fun, someone not so uptight. More long gowns for going out. Not exactly a gown for, for a wedding or a prom, but longer hemlines, as opposed to short. Yeah. But in our kind of weather, it's not so practical, but it looks nice on everyone. I wanted to showcase the waist of the girl. So if you notice, all of the dresses have a cinched waist. There are probably only two, two or three that were very shift, like away from the body. But everything had a cinched waist, so I wanted to emphasize that. Choosing fabrics was very spontaneous. If I see something I like, I'll buy it, and then if I can work with it, I will. But otherwise, you know, we just stock them and then go back, go back to them if we need. But yeah, I, it wasn't so much a planned thing. Sasa is grateful not only for the opportunity to showcase her work, but also for the learnings that she has gained through the whole experience. Oh, I think it's very important because it showcases what young people can do. It's very surprising how, how much they know, how their minds work, and I think it's different if you hear about them talking about it than if you see it on a runway. It's very inspiring for everyone. I think being prepared for everything really, really helps. It's good to know that you'll have time to relax and, you know, take everything in right before a show so that you're not manic. But, but being friends with everyone who's working with you, I think that's very important and that's something that everyone has to learn when you're working in this kind of environment because you can't put a show on your own. It takes a lot of manpower. For, to put a show like, put on a show like that so I think and you know, those are some things that I learned. <laughs>